Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm jumping right into this tutorial. I'm showing you my go-to look for long wear dewy skin. So I'm starting off with the Pixi Rose Flash Bomb. This has been my favorite for a primer. And I'm going in with the Too Faced Peach Perfect Foundation. This has a 12 hour wear. I find this lasts all day. This makes my skin look flawless and I love starting my skin off matte so it corrects any imperfections, pores, anything like that. I find matte is more flattering for textured skin and then going in and adding the glow later. In my recent Sephora haul, this is exactly what I was wearing. I used the Too Faced Peach Perfect Foundation and then I went in with the Charlotte Tilbury and this adds such a beautiful glow to the foundation and I did not set this with powder. So that's exactly what I did to get that skin. I don't necessarily need to set my foundation, but if you have oily skin, definitely go ahead and set your face, which I will be showing you in this video because setting your face definitely makes it last longer. I know not everyone can just not set their face like me, so I'm going to show you that way in this video. So now I'm using the KKW Beauty Concealer in shade 5. I've been loving this. I'm actually almost done. I'm waiting for a restock. I've been just using this every single day. It's been my favorite. It's very yellow, very brightening, and I'm just going to apply that to all the places I like to highlight and then blend it out with my new Sapphire Beauty Blender. In order to make my concealer last all day plus not crease, I like to bake my under eye. I don't do this every day, but when I want something very long wearing, I do like to bake. So I'm gonna take a fair amount of powder on my sponge and just press it into my skin and then I'm just going to leave it there and then we'll wipe it off later. If you're going to be using any eyeshadow, don't forget to set your lid space before going in with shadow and also using your powder to press it into the skin with your beauty blender. I find this really helps lock your foundation in place. For brows, I'm going to be using the Benefit Cabrow in shade 4. I've been back to using this lately. I really like it. It's very long wearing and not only can I get a structured brow, but I also can get a fairly soft and natural looking brow, which I'm doing for this look. To bronze up my skin, I'm going to be using the Marc Jacobs Bronzer in Tantastic. This is my favorite bronzer of all time, and finally it's back permanent. I have not been able to get a backup yet though because it's still out of stock on the Canadian Sephora, but as soon as it's back in stock, you better believe I'm picking up my backup. But thankfully it's now permanent, so just bronzing up the skin, using it to contour my nose and to shade in the contour of my eyes. So just adding that as a very light transition shade and then using this Natasha Denona top coat in bronze and I'm just using my finger to apply this very lightly on the eye. This is a really easy look to do but really beautiful in the summer. For lashes, I'm going to be using my favorite style ever, which are the Lily Lashes in Miami. I find these especially beautiful when you have minimal to no makeup on your eyes. I still wear them for dramatic looks, but I reach for them more often when I don't have too much eye makeup on. Then for blush, I'm using this new NARS blush. It's limited edition, it's in Loves Me, and I think it's just a beautiful color. I'm really attracted to blush colors like this. I think they look really natural on the skin. Then to further brighten up my under eye area, I'm just using the KKW Beauty Powder in number two. Just going to lightly put that underneath my eyes because you can go overboard with that powder. 
For this look, I really wanted to glow, so to do that, I'm using my Ofra Rodeo Drive highlighter. It never lets me down and has the most beautiful glow to it. And I love applying these Ofra highlighters with the Morphe M510 brush, one of my favorite highlight brushes, and I always get questions about it. So that's the Morphe M510. Then for lips, all I'm using is the Pixie and Chloe Morello Lip Icing in Cake. It's just a beautiful, super shimmery, almost sheer gloss, but with a ton of glitter, it just packs a punch, looks amazing in the sun. Then to finish off this look, I'm using my Cover FX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. This will make you look dewy, plus prolong your makeup. It is literally the best. You guys gotta go get it. <laughs> and then for illuminating my body, I'm using this Avon Dry Oil, only 10 bucks Canadian. It's beautiful and it smells amazing. That's going to be it. This is the completed look. It is my go-to long wear glowy skin makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Yes,